Today we're going to build a model called Cloudless 3V. The 3V stands for Vic Viper variant. Uh, it's a Vic Viper uh, because it has two front prongs, two wings, and one vertical stabilizer. Uh, we're going to build it step by step, uh, and we're going to begin with a series of components that will eventually come back and be attached to a, a central frame. So let's roll. All right, so the first thing we're going to build are these prongs. This is the right prong. And there are two interesting things with this prong. First is this uh, long tapered slope we've achieved. It's in a nice shape. Uh, and then uh, along the top, there's a, a half plate dark red reveal. This kind of nice line. Okay. So that's the right prong. So let's build the left. And we'll start with this base. And this is mostly studs up right now. I took off all the bits that were going other directions. Okay, and uh, you can see this sort of tapered area here on the outside. I'm going to cover that up with some panels subsequently. All right. So uh, first we're going to get some tiles. And using the tiles, effectively we're building a channel along the top. Like so. Uh, and then into this channel, uh, we have uh, these uh, one by two to one by four brackets. And uh, each of these uh, have a tile underneath and they just fit right into the slot. And they're floating. Okay, so it's upside down, it's not connected to anything. Um, if it's in there perfectly, now we're gonna lock it in uh, using these cheese slopes. Okay, some more slow G slopes. One more bracket. And that'll do it. Okay, so next we're going to add some greebly bits uh, at the inside of the prong. Uh, first we have this. It's uh, two headlight bricks and a, a Technic brick with a hole. Panel on top. Connects here like so. Okay, and we have a gun. And the gun uh, uses these pin joiners uh, with some Technic pins inside to make the barrel and a bracket. And it will connect uh, here on the inside. Okay, so that's the base of the prong. Uh, then we're going to move to these outside panels. And here we have these uh, hinge plates. Uh, there are two of them uh, for attention uh, and some um, uh, brick with side stud. And this is going to connect into a bracket. Okay, and attached to the bracket are a series of these um, uh, panels and it's capped off with a one by one panel at the end. Okay. So this hinge uh, plates are gonna give it an angle uh, relative to the main body. And when we connect it like this, the panels will uh, cover up the gaps on the outside of the prong and give that clean line. And there it is. All right, next up we're going to build intakes. So this is what it looks like. Uh, this is the right intake. And in the front, uh, there's an interesting uh, sort of texture, and color from these dark red panels. And uh, the entire intake itself is uh, canted up at, an, at a nice angle. All right, so let's build one. And we'll start with this base. And the base has 
a couple of headlight bricks down below, a headlight brick and a brick with side stud above. And f uh, here on each side, we're going to put a plate with a tile. Uh, actually, that's backwards. Fix that. Okay. And come back to that in a second. Uh, and then uh, fitting into that, uh, we have the grills. Uh, below that is a uh, Technic brick with two holes. Um, got a bracket, headlight brick. And uh, this is going to connect like so. Uh, put a nice edge uh, that's even right with the front of those panels. And then this segment uh, is going to fit back into here like this. Comes in snugly. Okay. And it's offset just a little bit. Uh, here on top, uh, I've got these panels. It's held together with a plate. And this is going to fit upside down uh, in on the top. And it's uh, just that friction uh, will hold it in place, but it can slide. Okay, but it's pretty strong. And uh, it's kind of interesting below where the headlight brick goes to the Technic brick. Uh, we've got, we're intentionally pushing things out by a half stud. So it gives a little reveal here with the dark red. And so if you were to use the same technique, uh, you could just adjust the offset, have more or less uh, overhang in front. I think it's kind of interesting. So uh, up on top, a uh, hinge brick and uh, these uh, big tiles. And that's going to snap in like this. And with the tiles down at an angle, uh, it puts more pressure on top of those upside down panels and keeps them from sliding. Okay, and then on each side of the intakes, uh, we have something like this. It's a brick with side stud down below. Okay. And we're going to use a tile to pull these two together. Okay, and then this segment uh, is just going to fit on top uh, snugly like this and uh, cover up each side. Okay. So the next component here is on the side. Uh, there's a gap we're going to be covering up later. And to do that, I'll start with this um, uh, plate with a headlight brick on it. And uh, this little component uh, with a uh, uh, cheese grate. and connect it to the headlight brick, change the stud direction, and then this entire uh, little segment uh, will snap in here. And uh, it's nice and tight, and there's the finished intake. All right, uh, so next up, uh, we're gonna build these uh, rear uh, wing extensions. Two of them uh, look like this. And uh, uh, this is interesting because it, it has an angle relative to the main body. And then within the wing itself, uh, there's a little bit of an angle here. So I just take a little jog in the, in the center. So let's get started. And we'll start with this component. Uh, there are two of these uh, side rotation um, uh, plate hinges here, and then a bracket a one by two to two by two. Okay. And then another side rotation hinge. Uh, this has a headlight brick. And we'll put that on like so uh, to get the three angles to start. And then uh, there's another uh, side rotation hinge, uh, Technic brick with two holes. Okay, uh, one more bracket, and then both of these have plates on the back. We're going to connect something there later, and goes together like this, nice and tight. Okay. Just adjust a bit. OK. 
Okay. And then uh, we've got two uh, inverted 75 degree slopes. It was in their headlight brick with a tile in it for texture. And then we'll cap that with uh, another slope. Like so. Okay. And then move on to the next part of this. Uh, and so uh, that's one of these uh, modified tiles with has two studs. Uh, it's on uh, two bricks with side studs. And then we're going to attach some uh, plates with cheese slopes on top. So like so. And another set here. And then uh, for this component has uh, two headlight bricks and a Technic brick, and that's for a stud reversal. Okay, we'll connect something there later. And we'll connect it up like this. And then uh, I have a, a finger hinge, uh, and that's for a stud reversal. And a cheese slope on top. And uh, this component will connect here. And so there's two stud connections uh, holding this in place. Okay. And then back uh, to the original bit. And, uh, and then this uh, snaps in now. Uh, like this. Um, and then the result has that um, uh, kind of uh, three different angles and uh, that interesting uh, jog in the middle of the wing. And that's it. So next uh, we have uh, two of these extensions and these are going to support the front wings. And they look like this. So uh, let's get started. And begin, uh, this is all uh, studs up. It's pretty straightforward. And in the back, we're going to take a, a brick with side stud into a, a Technic brick. Uh, makes it really strong. Drop it here. And uh, then we have uh, two of these uh, clips. Uh, with the uh, plates with, with uh, handles to give us an angle, and we'll attach that here. And then uh, we've got some plates. It's five uh, studs total, a couple of uh, tiles on the back edge. Okay. Uh, then this component, uh, so it's a uh, 65 degree slope. And then a headlight brick and a uh, clip light. It's a very simple stud reversal. And uh, then we have uh, this component. Uh, let's go in the clip light. And uh, that's really to give us this nice shape here up top. And then this uh, entire component will fit in the back of the wing support. Okay, uh, and then lastly, just a brick uh, with a grilled cheese. And that goes like so. Okay. Next, uh, we have the wing insert itself. Looks like this. And there's a series of panels along the top and uh, uh, some tiles for a smooth bottom. So begin like this, this is the right side one. And we'll add the panels. And uh, then here at the end, uh, we're gonna put a 75 degree inverted slope and another panel here on top. Uh, and then you can see down here, uh, we're using headlight bricks to get a stud reversal. We have two of them. And uh, we'll just drop this component in. This is to give it a nice flush, uh, clean bottom edge. Uh, 
That's the wing insert. Next we have a, a small support uh, for the rear wing extension. And uh, this has a, a bit of an angle uh, to hold the, uh, the wing at an angle from the main body. So it starts with this base. Uh, this is studs up. Headlight brick. Uh, Technic brick with uh, two holes. Uh, and then there's a plate in through the back and another headlight brick, uh, sorry, a Technic brick back behind there. And uh, into this, I'll go a, a headlight brick with a bow. I'll give the uh, symmetrical shape. And uh, just a, a piece of cheese on a plate. One more cheese. Uh, and then uh, we have uh, two plates with the handles and the uh, plate with clips. And I'll go like so. Okay. Uh, and then this component, and here are these uh, Technic pins. Uh, this is just for decoration. Uh, and there's another brick with side stud and a cheese. And uh, this component, uh, let's see, go like so. Okay. And then uh, much simpler, uh, this piece. Okay, and we'll just uh, connect like this. And that's the uh, rear wing extension support. Now we're gonna work on the vertical stabilizer. Uh, this has a, a plate with a bar and a clip, and it goes in the back of a inverted 75 degree slope. And then on top of that, uh, we have this segment with these tiles, uh, and then a uh, plate hinge, and then that goes like this. Uh, and then we have a, a, a headlight brick, a, a grilled cheese, a, a brick with uh, stud is on two sides, a, a Technic brick, another grilled cheese. Okay, and then uh, plugging in below that is a 65 degree slope, another a, a brick with a stud on the side, an 18 degree slope. Okay. And that segment uh, just then plugs back into that long tile. And there's the vertical stabilizer. Looks like this. Next, uh, we're gonna start building the tail itself, the engine section, it starts with this base. And uh, here on the base, uh, there are uh, headlight bricks on each side. Now there's a jumper plate down below, and it'll be obvious later what that's for. Uh, there's a one by three tile uh, through the center here. Okay. Uh, and then there's a Technic brick uh, which is suspended uh, in just the right spot uh, with plates uh, in front of and behind it. Uh, and uh, we'll use that stud in just a moment. So on both the left and the right, uh, using uh, two headlight bricks and Technic brick, we're doing a stud reversal. Studs going down. Okay, same thing here. Uh, and then we have uh, this segment, that's one by three plate, and then it has these curved bricks on both sides, and that fits snugly uh, here on top. Okay. Uh, and then back comes the vertical stabilizer, uh, and that's going to uh, fit in in the rear here, just on that uh, stud that we put in uh, just the right spot. And that's to uh, to give it just exactly the perfect position uh, forward and backwards. Uh, and then on both sides, uh, up above, uh, we're going to put in these arch bricks. Uh, this rounds things off and also keeps the uh, stabilizer snug. Uh, and then we have a set of those same arch bricks that comes in from below, and that'll fit to one set of those uh, studs, which is which are uh, you know, upside down. And give it that perfectly round shape 
uh, around the back. There we go. Uh, then we're going to move to these uh, little greebly sections. And so uh, each of these have a uh, brick with a side stud here. Uh, and then the cylinder uh, just uh, fits in and rotates. And then there's uh, four of these dishes uh, with a red bar uh, through the center. Okay. Uh, and a brick with side stud uh, just here. Uh, become, uh, obvious what that's for later. So this uh, Greebly section goes in uh, like so on this side. And we're going to cap that with a one by eight tile just to hold everything snug. And uh, repeat the uh, same design on this side, it's symmetric. There we go. Now for some greeble action. Uh, so we have more of those are arched uh, bricks, uh, some plates and a hinge brick, some trans clear. And this segment's gonna use that last uh, uh, down facing stud that we left from before. And the connection is the same on this side. There we go, and it's a nice elegant curved below now. Uh, in front, uh, we have uh, uh, two small bows, so it's uh, five wide, and it snaps on uh, just in front of where the vertical stabilizer comes up. It's quite tight. And now we'll move on to the base. The lower segment starts with uh, this component. It's a two by four plate, uh, and then uh, one of these um, uh, plates with uh, plate brackets, jumper, uh, and to the back of this is another 2x4 plate, 1x4 uh, plate tile. And into the front is a 2x2 two two plate um, with four of these um, uh, bricks with side studs. And then I'll go like so. Uh, and then onto that is this segment. Uh, there's uh, two two by two uh, plates, each with two jumpers on it. Uh, and then on that are these uh, bricks with side studs on uh, two sides, and they're separated exactly uh, three and a half plates. And it will fit like this. Uh, and then on the side, uh, we're gonna add these uh, two by three plates. Uh, and that's to give this segment a lot of strength. So now we've locked it together in, in a way that it's uh, not going to come back apart. Uh, and then one more segment, another of these plate brackets. Uh, above that is actually another uh, brick with side studs. Uh, there are jumpers on top. It connects here. Uh, and then uh, we have this segment that's an, uh, uh, sort of arch br bricks. And uh, this is going to go in upside down and it's going to float. So it fits right there. Uh, but we're going to lock it in and it won't be moving anywhere. Okay. Now back with the top portion of the engine. And that will come in right on top. And that connects uh, a bunch of places. So all those jumpers are connecting uh, nice and tight. And that's not going anywhere. Uh, then the next bit, each of these have two of these uh, double convex slopes. These are some of my favorite parts. And you have this other component which is floating free. And it comes in right in the back here. It's where it's gonna be locked. And that's to give it this nice stud reverse on this edge. Uh, with the slope, with the cheese slope there. And so this connects uh, to, there's uh, one stud above, two studs below, and it comes in right in, in from the side.
and we do the same thing on this side. And once it's there, those floating bits won't uh, can't move. One more thing. So I'll uh, put on the uh, uh, kind of uh, heat sinks. These are these uh, five wide scale dishes. I really like these two. And that's the tail and engine section. That completes the major components. In part two of the video, we'll assemble the cockpit and the core frame.